The Prime Minister Anthony Albanese is on his way to Spain for the NATO summit. The meeting of world leaders will discuss the war in Ukraine and a new strategic alignment between Russia and China. Finland and Sweden's application to join the military alliance will also be on the agenda. Mr Albanese says it is an important uh, democratic nation, important that democratic nations stand with Ukraine. Live to Trudy McIntosh. Now, Trudy Albanese, Mr Albanese, our Prime Minister, is yet to land in Spain. We'll do that later this mm. afternoon. Uh, but even he himself was talking about how important this meeting is mm. before he left. And Laura, Australia is not officially part of NATO, but really crucially a signal was sent to the Indo-Pacific with the invitation to Australia, New Zealand, Japan and Korea to attend this summit. So yes, the headline focus is going to be Russia's ongoing invasion of Ukraine, but the fact that Indo-Pacific countries have been invited to these crucial talks signals that they also want to look at the role of China in the Indo-Pacific as well. Last week we saw the head of NATO talking about the fact that they believe China is trying to challenge the rules-based order in the region. So there's certainly a focus not just on Europe but a broader look. Anthony Albanese during this summit is also going to get an opportunity to brush shoulders with world leaders. A crucial opportunity for a new Prime Minister just over a month into the top job. We can show you some of these bilateral meetings which have been flagged ahead of time. It includes with the head of NATO, the head of the EU Commission, also some Prime Ministers first face-to-face -face meeting with the Canadian Prime Minister and also the UK PM Boris Johnson. We'll also have by the end of the week, this face-to-face -face, uh, meeting between the French president in Paris, Anthony Albanese, making that journey to repair the relationship he believes was damaged under Scott Morrison over that submarine deal. As for Ukraine's president, there's still a question mark over whether this trip will take place. We saw a uh, bombing of Russia into Kiev overnight, so the security situation would be monitored very closely. And the Prime Minister said on the tarmac in Sydney yesterday before leaving, he doesn't want to endanger any Australian Defence Force personnel if he is to make this trip. But here's the PM before he left on the importance of this summit. The people of Ukraine are doing the democratic world an enormous service. Uh, but it's important that democratic nations stand with Ukraine. And that's the context of this NATO summit. It's also the case that Russia and China, their arrangements and closeness that has occurred in recent times means that it's also very important for our region. Back home, there's a new policy proposal from Peter Dutton. He must have been watching AIM Agenda over the last couple of months because this is something we have discussed ad nauseum. And truly, it's about getting more people into work, specifically pensioners. In yeah, in particular, I was going to say it's pensioners, Laura, trying to get more older Australians to work more if they want to. At the moment, they're penalised if they work over a certain number of hours. They have their pension cut back. The new opposition leader, Peter Dutton, is proposing to lift that threshold at the moment. It's $300 a fortnight. He wants to double that to $600. He says this will make a material impact. A lot of questions, though, about why this wasn't done under the previous government if it's such a great idea. Well, Mr Dutton's answered that this morning and he says it's because the economic circumstances have changed. Well, Peter, the previous government obviously made a decision uh, not to do it, largely, I suspect, because the prevailing economic conditions and labour market uh, aren't what they are today. Uh, we're talking about high inflationary environment, uh, we're talking about higher interest rates, we're talking about a very tight labour market. Here, if you're a pensioner, an age pensioner or a veteran on a pension and you choose to work, then my, my judgement is that there are businesses who desperately need you to fill those shifts but also that you shouldn't be taxed out of consideration. It does come with a cost, though, uh, and we'd have to work through some of those. But we have a range of ideas. We've got our own election policies that we'd like to, to roll out in the October budget. So Finance Minister Katie Gallagher not ruling this idea out, but it doesn't seem at this stage that the government's actually going to move on this. We heard yesterday the, uh, the Treasurer, Jim Chalmers, uh, Laura, saying that this could be part of that job summit which Labor's planning to hold in September.